I want to take a step backwards before we go forward and think back to 2010. You know, at the time when Apple had just released the iPad, 3D movies were going to be the next big thing, and EPB launched the first community-wide gigabit service. At that time, you know, everybody was saying, nobody needs a gig. What are anybody going to do with a gig, you know? You know, Netflix was really the only major uh, streaming service. And then they really had only 15 million subscribers and only about half of them were streaming at the time. Video calls and meetings were rare. And most people only had a handful of smart devices in their homes. At first, we only had a small number of gig subscribers, but within a few years, everyone in the home was streaming video, had multiple devices, and many more people were purchasing a gig service. You know, we, we, needed, we needed video calls for school and, and for work. Today, the gig has kind of become that, that gold standard. You know, and opening that door was an important aspect of us here in Chattanooga. You know, in 2015, EPB was the first again to announce a community-wide 10 gigabit service. Today, I'm honored to announce that the world's fastest internet just got faster and that EPB is taking the lead once again in making Chattanooga the first in the nation to launch a 25 gig internet service available community-wide. You know, our, our goal is to future-proof Chattanooga's community network so that we're ready as our customers embrace emerging changes and face new challenges, as we did at the onset of the, the COVID pandemic when we made ro remote work and school a necessity overnight. And the availability of 25 gig connectivity keeps Chattanooga at that forefront to draw business investments and to make sure we have the bandwidth for our companies as they continue to grow and innovate. I'm very pleased to announce that the Chattanooga Convention Center will be the first 25 gig customer. I think of our bandwidth sometimes a little bit like the, the freeway, and we wanna make sure that it's the same at, at four or five in the afternoon as it is 3 a.m. in the morning, that we don't end up having those times when, when we need bandwidth and we don't have it available. We are living in a time here in this city, in this county, like none other. You know, we are attracting businesses, we're attracting people that want to come here to live, to work, to play, and yes, retire. And none of this would not be possible if we didn't have, you know, some outstanding leadership that we have, not only in the political arena, but also in our business uh, sector. You know, the majority of the people, uh, I, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but 99% of the people that come here don't come here because they're of politicians. They come here because of our businesses. And if you're one of those 93% of our small businesses in Hamilton County, thank you for choosing to do business here. You're what keeps us propped up. And I've said that from the day one and will continue to say that. This incredible new resource will not only attract businesses and top talent from around the globe, it will unlock new potential for cutting edge technical innovation right here in Chattanooga. With this tool, tech companies and entrepreneurs will have the bandwidth to help propel our global economy forward. From blockchain to artificial intelligence and more, things we can't even imagine yet. And the tens of thousands of Chattanoogans who rely on high quality internet for work will be able to work faster than ever before. The original gig announcement, which a lot of us remember 12 years ago, uh, brought all sorts of an unanticipated users and uses here from all over the place, as David uh, Wade mentioned. And by once again leading the way, I feel sure that we'll see that same phenomenon reoccur. Finally, thank you to David Eckerd and the entire Nokia team for providing the groundbreaking technology that's made all this possible and will make, uh, will make this 25 gig speed um, possible for the entire community. We're at a new moment in time where we're charting new railroads of the future. But unlike in the past, these new transportation vehicles will not be made of steel, it'll be made of glass. You know, a decade and a half ago, as mentioned before, the leaders of, uh, of your electric utility and of your community set out to create this incredible network 
to provide the connectivity to your citizens. And while this initial investment was large, and of course very ambitious, it was built with the future in mind to be able to meet the insatiable demands of bandwidth and all the new applications that were not foreseen at the moment when you built this network. But Nokia's been there since the very beginning. We've been a partner. We've been able to help deliver the services and solutions that your community needs to have. We are committed to innovation and technology, leadership across our mobile, fixed, and cloud networks. We're led by our award-winning Nokia Bell Labs as we continue to bring these new technologies and solutions to the market. Together, we've enabled these new use cases that have brought uh, investments to your community of uh, over 10,000 jobs, $2.7 billion of benefits to this community over the last 10 years.